And now we are at the point where we can continue on doing a different path than last time. How far in the path are we? Uh, it, we're, Have we gone past the hospital room? I Yes, we are at the point where we're about to, like, we're about to trick everybody and be like, I voted on this door totally. Ah, uh, right, where we technically voted for all of them, but we just don't tell them that. Yep. So, just gonna get through all this real quick. Yeah, just gonna... Rah, 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 rah. We've already seen this. I believe everybody still has the same votes. Ace wants door one. Santa wants six. Glover wants... Blah, 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 blah. Bitch tits wants this. Naked raise it. They're having sex now. Now Ace is joining in. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he rose from the ground just made it better. Alright. Then I had a psychic layout of the boat in my mind. <laughs> yeah. I want to go through. Okay. We want door six. Okay. I want to go through door six. Oh, is it? <laughs> That's a problem. Oh, right, it doesn't add up. Oh, God. None of these teams will be able to go through the doors they want. Lover and I chose door one. Lotus and I chose door two. I forget if that's the voice I gave him. Uh, you gave him deeper voice? I think he did have the accent, though. It was not the janitor. That's not enough people to open a numbered door, however. Digital roots don't match up either. Eh, close enough. He got similar problems. Jun Junpei and I want to go through door six. But our digital root is five. If we're going to open that door, we need a one. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what we should do. Damn, what are we going to do now? Maybe Ace should come with us. What are we going to do? Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> I, okay, I could, uh, I could remember. John, Simon, and Lotus go through door one with me. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> Isn't that obvious? It's still you, Rhino. <laughs> Sorry, distracted by weather. Wasn't one of the teens just complaining they didn't have a one. You mean I should join Santa's team? Yes. I understand. I'll go through door six then. My god, it took them a while to get to that. Yeah, I know! <laughs> if we do as Clover has suggested, we can all pass through a number door and no one would be left behind. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. Seven, Lotus, what do you guys think? I don't have a problem with it. Me either. Alright then, we're good to go. See you later. Goodbye, emotionless girl. Wait, Clover, don't move on your own. I'll be going too then. Yeah, be careful. Bye, Oop. bitch tits. <laughs> we should get going as well. Come along, away from bitch tits. Ding. This is E deck. This is also you. All right. There should be a door at the end of the hall. All right, let's go. Rhino, you only have one character to voice. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> There's a six on this door. Sweet. There it is. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's get to it. Ding, ding, ding. Ding. Dong. Ominous dong. Ominous penis. What? <laughs> dong is... Oh, right. Penis. Oh, right. That's what you mean. Hey, I found it. It's right there. Well, Ding. that was quick. Ding. Usually they're all panicking and going Ding. like, Oh, God, where is Ding. he? Dang. Hey, 
It stopped. <laughs> yeah, it stopped. One time, yeah, I didn't think we'd have to go through all the characters' affirmations of that. Yeah, I, 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 at one point it's just going to be like, they pull the lever, they look down. It's not stopping. Just kidding. Well, fuck. <laughs> 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 <sighs> I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. You got that right. Once I'm out of this hellhole, I'm taking a nice long vacation. <laughs> I agree. Alright, let's go. On vacation, everybody! Hawaii! This door looks heavy. But it's not locked. I'm opening it. Good thing we don't have to lift it. The fuck? Okay. Whoa! What the hell is this? My thoughts exactly. This has to be the biggest room so far. The ceiling is pretty high, too. I'm trying to imagine what this is. I'm not sure. I'll probably get to it soon. Uh, could be two stories? Maybe even more. This space could be utilizing the entire length of the ship. What's that huge Kamaboko looking building in the middle? What the hell? What is that? Kamaboko? Well, I guess that's as good a description of it as any. I'd have called it a fun your pop, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I see stairs, so we may as well head over to them. <laughs> Can you look up what the hell that is? <laughs> a food Yurimpa? <laughs> no, a, whatever she said. <laughs> Kama Boko? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this section's barely wide enough to fit one person. No, it isn't! Look at how big it is! Oh, you mean this is the hallway? Okay, I guess. Maybe where we are? I guess. Okay, let's see what Kama Boko is before we continue. Kama Boko. It's a type of cured surumi, a Japanese processed seafood product. So it looks like seafood is what you're saying. Uh... Basically, do you know what, uh... Have you ever seen, like, a cinnamon roll bread? Where it's like you slice it and it has spirals in it and such? Yeah. Roughly that shape, but if it was in a solid loaf. So okay. kind of like an eraser. Okay, you lost you lost me at okay. the part you lost me at the part about the eraser, but I get Okay, imagine the dome, then you take a slice of that dome, and then you stretch out that slice to where it's just a long half cylinder. Okay, Rhino, you you already I already got it when you talked about the cinnamon bread. Now you're just confusing me. Okay. It's a long <laughs> half cylinder. Okay. <laughs> I, I thought of better ways to describe it as I went. Yeah, which is amazing because I understood what you meant at cinnamon bread. I've had cinnamon bread. I haven't had dome slices and swirly erasers. <laughs> also, read your line. <laughs> Rhino. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. You're right with whatever you said. <laughs> I said that this is a, a thin ha passageway or something. Whoa, you can't even tell the shape when you're this close. Is that a wheel? I think so. Let's check out the other side, too. This looks to be the steam engine room. The steam engine room? Yes. The thing that looks like a cross-section of a mushroom is the boiler. Everyone's comparing it to food! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, over here, near the Kit Kat bar! <laughs> well, maybe everyone's hungry. <laughs> I mean, I, I haven't seen us eat it all this whole time, have you? No. Do you see the three round doors near the bottom? Oh, you mean the ones that look like celery? <laughs> Coal is put into those and burned, which heats the water, producing steam. Steamed vegetables... The same thing that drives a steam engine. This one is simply somewhat larger. I see. It doesn't appear to be running right now. Alright, let's split up. Hey, what's wrong? Are you alright? Uh... Hey, Jude! Stop dying! She said jumpy. You, you're really warm. Is your fever coming back? Yes, it probably is. But I'm fine. Please don't. 
I just need to rest, and I'll be fine. Okay. Here, sit down. Carefully. <laughs> just drop her on her head. <laughs> sit, sit down! Shove! <laughs> sit down here, against the cheese! <laughs> Whoops. I accidentally hit the scroll wheel. Ace. Santa. Yes. Right. Oh, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Hang in there, June. I'm gonna get you out of here real soon. Hey, well, I don't looks like it's a you seed. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Okay, so I saw an A and a C. Seek if there's not a B, we know what to look out for. Out before June dies. Steam engine. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a big rectangle with just a big thing in the middle. Okay. With a with a big with a big cinnamon bun. Okay. Uh, all right, let's get to work clicking everything and see what happens. This is helpful. It's a square hole. Nothing in here. Huh? Look at the back wall there. I can see three small slots. Terminals for some sort of connector, perhaps. You mean you think we're supposed to plug something in here? Perhaps. Look at that button. It's glowing orange, right? It's gotta mean something. Guess pressing it is the best way to find out if it does anything, Santa. Click. Hmm. Nothing. Well, that was boring. Moving on. That place sucks. Zero out of ten. I'd say this is probably here to move coal from place to place. It probably comes from over there. And then the belt carries it down the tunnel and out here. So if the conveyor belt was moving, yes, the coal would almost certainly come out here. Okay, I'm guessing that once we start this thing up, it'll start the conveyor belt. And then gets us coal, which will be presumably helpful. This pillar goes up towards the ceiling. And that was great. We can see kind of the coal in there. So I guess we need the coal to put in the furnaces. I believe this opening is for fueling the furnace. If we were to put some coal in here and ignite it, then the steam engine might start working. It's certainly possible. Alright. We're figuring this out one step at a time, I guess. Man, this cinnamon bun is huge. I guess a ship this big needs something like that to power it. True, but I doubt a single boiler of this size could actually move a ship like this at any reasonable speed. You need at least three. No, four of these. Huh, guess you know a lot about boats, huh? Well, not really. Just common sense, you know. Is it? I don't no, know anything. I don't think so. I don't know anything about boats. Ace is, secret hmm. Ace is secretly behind this whole thing. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, no. Here, okay. It's weird, I don't get to, like, go in a complete circle. <clears throat> this gear is rusty, but it looks like it's still pretty sturdy. <clears throat> a golden gear. Doesn't look like it was always golden like this. Well then, I imagine it was prepared especially for this game. It looks like there's a door over here in this tunnel. The belt over there must deliver the coal which is then picked up and thrown into this door. The door Why not the other doors? The door appears to be welded shut, however. Mention about the other doors being furnace doors. Why is this door where you think it goes? Oh god. Oh my god, there's so much! Levers and buttons? I guess these are switches. These two columns are different from the others. The lights are red. The three sliders on the left are down, and this one is up. There are a number of lines engraved in these. I suspect we are meant to do something rather specific with them. Jinbei, why don't you move that slider down? Well, there's no harm in trying, I suppose. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing happened. Maybe it needs to be prepared somehow. You're saying if we did something somewhere else, they'd respond somehow? Yes, I suppose that's one way of putting it for the player to understand exactly what we're talking about. Mm. Oh my god, we go up higher! <laughs> oh, there is so much here. Oh, Jesus Christ. One of the doors on the furnace. There's an A on it. There's a circular wheel in the center of the door. Alright, let's give it sucker a twist. Well, it's noisy, but it opens. 
And it's totally pitch black in there. We should, uh, go in here. Alright. Let's go. This looks like, looks just like the door we went into. Uh, where are we? We must be on the other side, yes? That should put us directly above the conveyor belt. At any rate, we should keep moving. There's a great deal we've yet to investigate. Oh my god. Oh, found a bee. Yay. Number of boxes. Don't think we can go over there. Okay. Anyway, it looks like that's the pipe. Looks like the bottom connects to the conveyor belt housing. And coal must come out of this pipe onto the conveyor belt. In other words, there must be a great deal of coal in that pipe. I don't even know where to start, because every time I touch something, it's like, ah, you gotta go somewhere else first. I don't even know. There's a lot they're giving us. Well, I guess technically not, because right now all we have is... Oh, it's a winch. Hand okay. operating winch. Doesn't look like there's any way to uh, operate it. That means the wheel isn't attached. Oh my god. So, all we really have right now are empty furnaces and a coal belt. Right? We need to... Okay. We need to get the coal into the furnaces. I'm assuming that's a first step. But in order to do that, we need to start... We need to get some connector things. But I can't find connector things. And every time I click something, it's like, come back here later. Okay, get the... It says we don't have a wheel, so... I'm just gonna assume, like, we need... So at one point, we're gonna need either a wheel or a lever from the for the thing to get the box. The box! I think I might have an idea. Hang on. Can I take this wheel? I doubt it. It's pretty big. <laughs> it was worth a shot, okay? Okay. Uh, a huge bronze gear. This has to be important. Open three open areas. Each of the open areas has a gear in it. Oh. There's a pair of wooden boxes here. There's nothing in them. How useful. It's a silver gear. You think it's made of pure silver? No way. Silver's way too soft to use for a gear. It's gotta be a steel or iron gear that's been coated with silver. Uh, shouldn't have called it a silver gear, then. Shouldn't have got your hopes up. Were you thinking you'd haul this thing back? Nah, but I think Seven could probably carry it, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Ace! It's some kind of snowman secret meeting! Those are just bags full of sand. Use them as a counterweight when you're lifting something with a pulley system. Man, okay. you're too serious. <laughs> snowman secret meeting. <laughs> uh... Was one of his more random things. My god, what is this? Given its placement, this must unlock the door to the left. It's a weird indentation on top of this thing. Think that means you have to insert something here? Yes, I would imagine so. <sighs> hmm. Okay, we've looked at basically everything now. We need to get coal from this conveyor belt and yep. put and put it into this furnace. Which are we room? able to access the door on the conveyor belt? Uh, no, the the little hatch in the side. Uh, we did. That's where the connector things are, but we don't have. Ah, to my bad. So yeah, we we need to find connection terminals, basically. Mm, should we try playing with the switches more? again. Uh. Maybe. That seems like the only thing that might possibly... I mean, because these are the room state altering ones, right? I guess Ace feels like giving it a try. Hmm. Nothing. It won't move at all. Slider is down. Looks like Santa wants to give this one a shot. Eh! Damn it. Nothing. This thing won't budge. Slider is down. Well, let's see if I can get this thing to go anywhere. Ugh! Man! No dice. This thing isn't going anywhere. 
So the, the highlighted one is the only one we can move. Yep, and when I do it, it automatically goes back up because nothing happens. Okay. Okay, let's... Is there anything that I... Well, the door's on the furnace. There's a B on it. Ah, uh, B! There's a C on it. Oh, 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 the, okay. The A is the only one that lets us go into. Okay. Alright, so now we're over here. Let's see if we find anything of particular importance. The cap. What happens if I go through B? Now we're over here. I don't think we've been here yet. Uh, this is just another... Oh! Yeah, this one has a wheel. Let's give this wheel a spin! What? That's weird. I don't feel any resistance. Ah! Ah, shit! Broke off. Oh, no! Now I have a wheel! Oh, oh no! Whatever will I use this for? Good job, genius! You broke it! I didn't break it! It broke all by itself! Nah! Yeah. All right. To the other side. Man, we're walking through this furnace a lot. I almost kind of feel in danger. Hand operate winch. There's no wheel to turn. It's good oh, thing yeah. it hasn't turned on yet. I've got the wheel. I pulled off the other winch, don't I? Let's see if it fits. Sweet. It's a perfect fit. Like they were made for each other. Not shaky at all. Good. I should be able to turn this now. Good work, Jupei. We should be able to haul up the wooden box now. You see the wooden box? It's under the catwalk. You see it? It's hanging yes, over the God winch, damn it. isn't it? It looks like yes. there's some sort of device in the box. Stop. I'm not sure what it is. Then let's pull it up. At any rate, you might as well turn that wheel now. Ace. I'm counting on you. God damn. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> All right, I'll turn the wheel. Huh, what's this? What happened? This wheel only turns to the left. It only turns to the left. It means we can't reel up that rope. Yeah. We Just reel it down. You don't let the rope down. Interesting. June catch. I don't think that'll <laughs> be a problem. <laughs> we'll simply need to go downstairs after laying the wooden box down. I will be counting on you, Junpei. Sure thing, no sweat. Lower the damn box! I feel like they're extra thick today. I believe the box has reached the floor. You do know what that means, right? It means that the box is now on the floor, and we must travel down to the floor to access the box. <laughs> yeah! Jun's down over by there. She doesn't seem to be improving. Well, of course not. She's not going to just get better right away, you know? It'll take time. What could be causing this, I wonder? Illness, perhaps? Nah, it's gotta be exhaustion. She gets dropped at some weird-ass shit, forced to play some messed-up game. If you think about it, it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her, you know? So you're saying we're abnormal. Yeah. We're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business as usual. How the hell could you call that normal? We're just guinea pigs. A guinea pig? You mean like a lab rat? No, I mean like a guinea pig, stupid. It's very different from a rat. You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, man! <laughs> but it does seem like a possibility, you know? You know, speaking of experiments, it's time uh, for some... Story time! <laughs> it's time for some backstory! <laughs> oh, we got... There was this experiment some scientists did with rats. That's not unusual. <laughs> First, they took a squarish C-shaped tank and filled it with enough water that the rats could drown in it. The tank has two exits. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. Exit A is pitch black, so dark even a rat can't see anything. But exit B is electrified, which means the rat can't leave through it. So... It's time to take my pills. <laughs> I imagine at this point, it's just an experiment to see if the rat can overcome its fear reaction through seeing its fellows die. If I had to guess. What about you? I figured it was just 
you know, can they maneuver through the dark? <laughs> or can they think to go through the dark? So, what would a rat do if it was put in this situation? Which exit would the rat choose? B, of course. The rat has no way of knowing that exit B is electrified. Exactly. The rat goes to exit B. Of course, like I said, it's electrified. Which means the rat can't get out that way. So after a lot of trial and error, the rat finally finds exit A. Hmm. I can't say that's very interesting or relevant. It's simply the story of a laboratory experiment. You're right. It isn't very interesting. Yet. See, these scientists repeated this experiment over and over. And the rats got smarter and smarter. And then one day a week later they came back and there were no scientists. There were only rats. <laughs> they were rats experimenting on the scientists! Using hundreds of different rats over several generations. This produced some surprising results. With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct exit. Eventually, a rat was put in the tank who instantly chose exit A without even attempting to go to exit B. I mean, isn't that just survival of the fittest? I mean, I think the idea he's getting at is these are different rats, rats that had no idea about the experiment beforehand. They, that Obviously, before. Rat Mommy and Rat Daddy were like, go in the dark. <laughs> that wasn't the most impressive part. The same experiment was conducted in another laboratory, far from the original one, with the same results. How is that interesting? No, on second thought, the results weren't really the same. The rats in the second experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. Oh, right, we're doing the whole, uh, psychic thing among the world thing right. that we've connected a lot of these stories with. These rats weren't even related to the others that had never even come in contact with them, and yet... They all easily found their way to exit A as though they already knew. What did it mean? Are you suggesting something like telepathy? They were passing information to one another through some undetectable medium. How the hell would I know? I'm not any kind of scientist. I don't know what made him do that. But I do know that story's true. And if you've got another explanation, I'd sure love to hear it. Come on, let's get going. There's still a lot here we haven't checked out. And we gotta he get the hell- That was probably one of our briefer stories. We gotta get the hell out of here before Jude passes out. Remember to talk about Alice? <laughs> Hey, wait, there's something I want to ask you. Hey, while we're sitting here freezing in this freezer, are you up for a story? <laughs> what? Why did they use that tank for the experiment? Huh? Well, I mean, it seems like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. They you know, that is a fair point. They could have just used a dry box, you know? If they needed to motivate the rats to escape, they could have, I don't know, put some bait by exit B or something. I mean... Do they really have to make it so the rats can drown? Scientists are weird. Oh, okay. You know the word emergency comes from the same root as the word emerge? You ever think about that? What? I admittedly have not. <laughs> well, an emergency is something urgent, often something dangerous. And to emerge means to sort of come out of or appear or rise out of something else. So what's going to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. All right, now you're grasping at straws, buddy. Inspiration? So I can re-roll my dice? Yeah. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Think about it. When the chips are down, either you crack or your mind focuses and pulls up what you need. So in an emergency, your real potential emerges. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's why the rats had to drown. They had to be in danger. There had to be an emergency for inspiration to emerge. All right, moving on. <laughs> uh, okay. Whoosh. Boom, boom. Tick, tick, tick.